Hi guys, I'm Nicholas and I'm Catherine. we are 123 Migration. Today we're going to talk about um, the process of uh, the student visas and what you need to do uh, in order to get a student visa and how it all works. I guess what we'll start off with, uh, Catherine, if you can explain, firstly, I guess we need to get, um, the student needs to enroll in a course. Yeah, but the first, first thing is for, is for the student to decide which city in Australia. Once you know the city, we'll send you options for schools and you can make a decision in which school you would like. And after that, we'll help you to get your enroll in the school. Yeah, so uh, and enrolling someone in the school, how does that all work? Uh, you have to fill out a, a form application. Yep. We will help you with that. Also, you have to give some documents like your passport, previous qualifications. In some instances, uh, show that you have um, some financial backup. Uh, after you get in, apply for the school, uh, if you get accepted, they will let us know if you get accepted or not, or, or if they require something else. Uh, you have to pay uh, the first installment of the school. Usually, it can be from the 25, 30 or 50 percent of the first year. Yeah, so you, you don't have to pay for the whole course up front, no. um, but you will have to pay in, um, I guess, periodic payments. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, generally, it's about three months or three to six months. You have to pay as a deposit to successfully enroll in the school. Yeah, there is payment, payment plan options and it can vary from school school to school. What I would also say is that one of the things that we try and get our students to do is actually pay the school directly. I think it's very important anything that you take out of this video is that you make sure that you pay the school directly and not to an education agent. You can get a bit lost with some education agents. We always ask that you pay the school directly and the school always provide this detailed information on their acceptance form that they will send you. That's the first part of the student visa process is to get enrolled in a school and you've paid your deposit and all of that sort of stuff. So the next part is really applying for the visa. Yeah, that's right. It's getting all your documents together. We of course know about all the process so we'll let you know which documents we need. Um, we'll guide you through all the process and all the requirements. The visa application cost at the moment is uh, five, $575. $575. That's right. And it's taking, it can take from two weeks to three months to get a, a decision. Yeah, depending. Depends, uh, depend how busy they are. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we will determine if you can meet the requirements before we start the process. That's we right. won't get you enrolled in the school and then, oh, you, you can't apply for the student visa. We always make sure that our students. Uh, have all of the requirements needed, not only for the course, but also for the visa before we actually start yeah, the process. Yeah, and, and is there, it's in our best interest that you guys get your student visa. And so the, the next part, let's, let's say we've now applied for the visa. Yeah, uh, but this is not for everyone, nor for all the countries, but, but most countries will have to do the medical examinations in their country of origin or where the country where they are applying from. So we'll give you the details too because there is special doctors. I, I, what I'll do is I'll put a link below. So yeah, the, to do the medical examinations, there are very specific centers around the world that are available to you for those medical examinations. And there's also another type of examination which is called a biometric examination. And that is done in a different center usually. Um, but as I said, I'll put a link down below and depending on what country you're from will depend upon uh, where those centers are. So it's very important that, that those are requirements for the visa for some countries. Yep. Yes. So, right. so really, once you've enrolled in your course, uh, you've applied for your visa and also you've, you've done your medicals and your biometrics, if you've needed to do, then it's just a matter of waiting for a decision. That's right. Now, in some circumstances, immigration can ask questions request further information yep so that can happen but obviously what we want to do is make sure that uh, immigration have everything that they could possibly need to make a decision so that that's how we do things 
Uh, I just do want to say something about uh, enrolling in the course. Once you're enrolled in the course, that they will actually give us what's called a COE, which is a confirmation of enrolment, um, which is very necessary for you to apply for your student visa. Okay, so this document is, is part of your visa application. So it is very important that you um, enroll in your course before you apply. Yes, and uh, now back to what I mentioned before, we are migration agents registered and we are also education agents. We can help you through all the process and also once you're in Australia to help you look for other options, assess your visa application and help you with all the process. Uh, we won't charge you if we enroll you in the school. If your visa is granted, uh, the school will pay us a commission, it's as simple as that. So it's in our best interest that you get your visa, that you're happy that you come to Australia and that you're happy with your school and your course. Yeah, it's a win-win situation. That's right, and, and that's what we're looking at doing. So we offer free services to our students yeah. and the thing is that your course cost is no higher than it would be if you applied directly. Yeah, so that's the right. thing is that we're, we're pretty much free when you, when you look at the bigger picture. Yeah, so the, the prices we offer you for the courses are the school prices. So you go into their website, you see the prices there, they're the same, so you don't get to pay more if you use our services. And sometimes even they give us some offers for our students. Of course, so yes. we'll let you know about any offers we may have at the moment. Okay, so look, uh, that was just a quick video on the student visa process. Uh, we hope you liked it, and um, we'll see you next time. Yeah, bye guys. Okay, bye.